An autonomous spaceport drone ship ASDS is an ocean-going vessel derived from a deck barge, outfitted with station-keeping engines and a large landing platform. Construction of such ships was commissioned by aerospace company SpaceX to allow for recovery of rocket first stages at sea for missions which do not carry enough fuel to return to the launch site after boosting spacecraft onto an orbital trajectory. SpaceX has two operational drone ships and has a third under construction as of early 2018. Just read the instructions operates in the Pacific for launches from Vandenberg. Of course I still love you operates in the Atlantic for launches from Cape Canaveral. A shortfall of gravitas is under construction. As of the 11th of January 2019, 26 Falcon 9 flights have attempted to land on a drone ship, with 20 of them succeeding. The ASDS ships are a key early operational component in the SpaceX objective to significantly lower the price of space launch services through full and rapid reusability, and were developed as part of the multi-year reusable rocket development program SpaceX undertook to engineer the technology. Any Falcon flights going to geostationary orbit or exceeding escape velocity require landing at sea, encompassing about half of SpaceX missions. History In 2009, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk articulated ambitions for "...creating a paradigm shift in the traditional approach for reusing rocket hardware." In October 2014, SpaceX publicly announced that they had contracted with a Louisiana shipyard to build a floating landing platform for reusable orbital launch vehicles. Early information indicated that the platform would carry an approximately 90 by 50 meter 300 feet times 160 feet landing pad and would be capable of precision positioning so that the platform could hold its position for launch vehicle landing. On the 22nd of November 2014 Musk released a photograph of the autonomous spaceport drone ship along with additional details of its construction and size as of December 2014 the first drone ship used the McDonough Marine Services Marmac 300 barge was based in Jacksonville Florida at the northern tip of the JAXPORT cruise terminal 30.409144 degrees north 81.582493 degrees west 30.409144 -81.5 582493 where SpaceX built a stand to secure the Falcon stage during post-landing operations. The stand consists of four 15,000 pounds, 6,800 kilograms, 107 in 270 centimeters tall and 96.25 in 244.5 centimeters wide pedestal structures bolted to a concrete base. A mobile crane will lift the stage from the ship and place it on the stand. Tasks such as removing or folding back the landing legs prior to placing the stage in a horizontal position for trucking will occur here. The ASDS landing location for the first landing test was in the Atlantic, approximately 200 miles (320 kilometers) northeast of the launch location at Cape Canaveral, and 165 miles (266 kilometers) southeast of Charleston, South Carolina. On 23 January 2015, during repairs to the ship following the unsuccessful first test, Musk announced that the ship was to be named Just Read the Instructions, with a sister ship planned for West Coast launches to be named Of Course I Still Love You. On 29 January, SpaceX released a manipulated photo of the ship with the name illustrating how it would look once painted. Both ships are named after two general contact units, spaceships commanded by autonomous artificial intelligences, that appear in The Player of Games, a culture novel by Ian M. Banks. The first Just Read the Instructions was retired in May 2015 after approximately six months of service in the Atlantic, and its duties were assumed by Of Course I Still Love You. The former ASDS was modified by removing the wing extensions that had extended the barge surface and the equipment thrusters, cameras and communications gear that had been added to refit it as an ASDS. These items were saved for future reuse. 
In 2018, SpaceX began construction of a third barge, a shortfall of Gravitas. Topic: The active ASDS fleet. In early 2015, SpaceX leased two additional deck barges, Marmic 303 and Marmic 304 and initiated refit to construct two additional autonomous operation-capable ASDS ships, built on the hulls of these Marmic barges. Topic. Of course I still love you. The second ASDS barge, Of Course I Still Love You OCISLY, had been under construction in a Louisiana shipyard since early 2015 using a different hull, Marmic 304, in order to service launches on the East Coast. It was built as a replacement for the first Just Read the Instructions and entered operational service for Falcon 9 Flight 19 in late June 2015. As of June 2015, its home port was Jacksonville, Florida, but after December 2015, it was transferred 160 miles 260 kilometers further south, at Port Canaveral. While the dimensions of the ship are nearly identical to the first ASDS, several enhancements were made including a steel blast wall erected between the aft containers and the landing deck. The ship was in place for a first stage landing test on the CRS-7 mission, which failed on launch on the 28th of June 2015. On the 8th of April 2016, the first stage, which launched the Dragon CRS-8 spacecraft, successfully landed for the first time ever on OCISLY, which is also the first ever drone ship landing. In February 2018, the Falcon Heavy test flight's central core exploded upon impact next to OCISLY. LY that damaged two of the four thrusters on the drone ship. Two thrusters were removed from the Marmic 303 barge in order to repair OCISLY. Topic: <laughs> Just read the instructions. The third ASDS barge, using the Marmic 303 hull, was built during 2015 in a Louisiana shipyard, and the barge transited the Panama Canal in June 2015 carrying its wing extensions as cargo on the deck because the ASDS, when complete, would be too wide to pass through the canal. The home port for the Marmic 303 is the Port of Los Angeles, at the Altasia Marine Research and Business Campus in San Pedro's Outer Harbor. The landing platform and tender vessels began docking there in July 2015 in advance of the main construction of Altasia, which is scheduled for 2017. SpaceX announced that the Marmic 303 would be the second ASDS to be named Just Read the Instructions JRTI, in January 2016, shortly before its first use as a landing platform for Falcon 9 Flight 21. On 17 January 2016, JRTI was was put to first use in an attempt to recover a Falcon 9 first stage booster from the Jason 3 mission from Vandenberg. The booster successfully landed on the deck, however, a lockout collet failed to engage on one of the legs causing the rocket to tip over, exploding on impact with the deck. On January 14, 2017, SpaceX launched Falcon 9 Flight 29 from Vandenberg and landed the first stage on the JRTI that was located about 370 kilometers (230 miles) downrange in the Pacific Ocean, making it the first successful landing in the Pacific. Topic: Under construction. SpaceX began construction of a fourth deck barge in early 2018. Topic: A shortfall of Gravitas. The fourth ASDS was announced to be under construction in February 2018 and it will become the second active East Coast-based ASDS. It will be homeported at Port Canaveral. 
This future simultaneously usable ASDS, along with OCISLY, is called a shortfall of Gravitas ASOG, and like the rest of the fleet, its naming is based on names used in the Culture series. The drone ship is expected to be operational in mid-2019. Topic. Characteristics The ASDS are autonomous vessels capable of precision positioning, originally stated to be within 3 meters feet even under storm conditions, using GPS position information and four diesel-powered azimuth thrusters. In addition to the autonomous operating mode, the ships may also be telerobotically controlled. The azimuth thrusters are hydraulic propulsion out drive units with modular diesel hydraulic drive power units manufactured by Thrustmaster, a marine equipment manufacturer in Texas. The returning rocket must not only land within the confines of the deck surface but must also deal with ocean swells and GPS errors. SpaceX equips the ships with a variety of sensor and measurement technology to gather data on the booster returns and landing attempts, including commercial off the shelf GoPro cameras. At the center of the ASDS landing pads is a circle that encloses the SpaceX stylized X. In an X marks the spot landing point. Topic. Naming The two ASDS names used so far, just read the instructions JRTI, and of course I Still Love You OCISLY, pay homage to the works of the late science fiction author Ian M. Banks by being based on his culture fictional universe. Both JRTI and OCISLY are names of enormous, sentient starships, which appeared in the novel The Player of Games. The third name that will be used for the fourth ASDS will be a shortfall of Gravitas ASOG that is similarly drawn from the culture milieu of Ian M. Banks. The culture series has a running gag on having some starships that include Gravitas within their names. Topic. Just read the instructions Marmic 300. The landing platform of the upper deck of the first barge named Just Read the Instructions was 52 meters times 91 meters 170 feet times 300 feet while the span of the Falcon 9 V 1.1 landing legs was 18 meters 60 feet. The vessel was retired in 2015. Topic. Of course I still love you Marmic 304 Of course I still love you was built as a refit of the barge Marmic 304 for landings in the Atlantic Ocean Its home port is in Port Canaveral Florida since December 2015 after being ported for a year at the port of Jacksonville during most of 2015 Topic. Just read the instructions Marmic 303. Just read the instructions, the second barge with that name, was built as a refit of the barge Marmic 303 in 2015 for landings in the Pacific Ocean. Its home port is the port of Los Angeles, California. Topic. A shortfall of Gravitas under construction. The fourth ASDS is named A Shortfall of Gravitas, under construction as of early 2018, will be used on the East Coast to support high flight rates for Falcon 9 and tandem ocean landings for Falcon Heavy side boosters. Topic. Operation. A tug is used to bring the ASDS to its oceanic position, and a support ship stands by some distance away from the crewless ASDS. The vessels initially used on the east coast were Elsbeth III and Go Quest support. 
Following landing, technicians and engineers typically board the landing platform, and secure the rocket's landing legs to lock the vehicle in place for transport back to port. The rocket stage is secured to the deck of the drone ship with steel hold downs welded onto the feet of the landing legs. In June 2017, OCISLY started being deployed with a robot that drives under the rocket and grabs onto the hold-down clamps located on the outside of the Falcon 9 structure after landing. Fans call the robot, Optimus Prime, or Roomba, the latter of which has been turned into a backronym for Remotely Operated Orientation and Mass Balance Adjustment. Topic. Vessel missions The first flight test was 10 January 2015 when SpaceX conducted a controlled descent flight test to land the first stage of Falcon 9 Flight 14 on a solid surface after it was used to loft a contracted payload toward Earth orbit. SpaceX projected prior to the first landing attempt that the likelihood of successfully landing on the platform would be 50% or less. The landings went from being landing tests towards being routine parts of missions. Topic. See also Blue Origin Landing Platform Ship List of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches Mr. Stephen NASA Recovery Ship Reusable Launch System Vertical Takeoff, Vertical Landing <laughs>